Good morning. Welcome back to Tuesday Entrepreneurship. My name is Joan Wichacha. You are watching the Y254 channel and this is Why in the Morning. In case you guys are intrigued by what we're going to be discussing, we're going to be discussing a little bit to do with pastry. Please do reach us out, reach out to us on hashtag Tuesday Entrepreneurship, hashtag Why in the Morning. And you can do so on our Facebook and our Twitter page. That is y y Y254 channel and on Instagram you can find us on Y254 underscore channel. I myself can be found only on Twitter at Joy underscore Muchache. Please allow me to introduce, uh, by the way, so you, before I introduce, I don't know if you guys can see the cakes we have on display over here. And I hope I can get a taste. Our guest today, her name is Emma Murethi. She's a wonderful, wonderful pastry chef with such a wonderful heart. And we're going to be delving into more about why she does what she does and who she's even doing it for is what really touched me. Um, Emma Murethi, actually, I think your full name is Immaculate. Yeah. But you go by Emma? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Can I call you Emma or? Yeah, okay. Hi, Basi. So she's actually a student at Karen Technical Institute, and it's actually for both the deaf and it's a public college that also accommodates people who hear as well as people who are deaf. Uh -huh. Maybe we can discuss more, Miss um, Murray, the Emma, yeah. uh, about your technical institute before we can talk about your wonderful pastries. Yeah. Yeah, so you do teach people who are disabled and people who are abled. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Tell us more about that. Current Technical Institute accommodates both deaf and hearing. To the advantage, the hearing get a chance to learn the sign language, so you can deal with any client who is deaf, or you can also interact with the deaf people. You know their challenges, how you can help them. Actually, they are normal human beings. They can do everything. Yes. Disability to them is not an inability. It's a very strong they really they communicate just normally like anyone just else does fine. yeah just perfectly fine mm. and i like something that you said the disability is not an inability uh -huh. so even though they may have a disability it doesn't mean that they're not able to do certain things yeah and that's why you dis um that's why the, they do what they do yeah and that's interesting um because most of the time i think we get a little bit confused or we might get a little bit of a how can I say, um, miscommunication when it comes to teaching people who are disabled, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. But maybe you can tell us about some of the experiences that you have shared with some of these people before we can start talking about the actual business. These people love, they love people who understand them. Okay. It's like when someone is talking their local language mm -hmm. and you don't know, so you'll feel a little bit depressed. Mm -hmm. but when you show them that you're interested to know what they do, what, how they interact with people, they love you and they will feel that you're appreciating them. Right. Yeah. So okay. that's how we get along and get to learn the same language mm. and get to enjoy and study together very mm. perfectly. You just mm. use the same language to communicate to them. Mm. Some can partially hear mm -hmm. and they can partially talk mm -hmm. So just get to understand them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you do sign language yourself? Can yeah, you, I do. You do? Completely? Yeah, I can sign my name. Wow. Okay, please sign your name my, for us. My sign name, Emma Kulit. Uh -huh. If I need to finger sign, then E-M-M-A-C-U-L-A-T-E. Hi. Hi. Wah. Yeah. Huh. That's a whole alphabet that I can it. teach you your sign name. How, can, how do you say joy? I know it's just three J, letters. J. J. O, oh. Y. Okay, J, O, Y. Y. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Or maybe you can teach me a bit more later on. Yeah, I We can. need to talk about your pastry work uh, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I see some wonderful things that you have created. Is this mm -hmm. your own work? Yeah, this is my work. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, if I may ask, when did you begin? When did your interest, your passion for pastry, when did it first start? When did you first notice, hey, we have a thing for pastry. Hmm. Hmm. It was back in when I was in primary. Primary? Yeah. You're so young. I love cakes. So, like, I didn't know. I just saw them in weddings, birthdays. So, I went, my aunt used to do such work. So, I just sat next to her. I saw how she decorated the cake. I watched, then I went, bought a small cake and asked my mom to buy me icing sugar and then I tried it out. Mm -hmm. Although it was not perfect, I, I continued like 
the children in our village uh -huh. when you have a birthday mm -hmm. i used to tell them just go bring i'll try it out for you uh -huh. and that's how i learned uh -huh. i did it like it was passion it mm -hmm. came from my heart i mm -hmm. did it with my whole heart so i didn't know when i finished from four that i would be admitted for food and beverage and specialize on pastry mm -hmm. it was god given and so wonderful yes mm -hmm. that's interesting and you know as we we're talking i you told me that actually that there was a time that you started cooking quote yeah. unquote for what to one jingle yeah uh -huh. please tell us about your experience for cooking well what for what to one jingle how was that experience for you and why did you decide to do so uh, back when in 2017 when i completed my form four mm -hmm. me and my mom sat down thought of a house well because okay. i have <laughs> siblings who need to learn mm -hmm. i had finished form four so when you're just home instead of just idling around, just look for something to do. So we came up with an idea with my mom. Kuna watu wa mjengo, they were building our church. So I say, these people, lunchtime they walk out, go to a hotel and eat. What if I can go in mm -hmm. and cook for them something mm -hmm. and just charge them a little something small. Mm. So my mom So bring the hotel to them. Yeah, I bring the hotel ne just there next to them. Okay. So my mom bought me one packet of unga uh -huh. and one cabbage. One cabbage? Yeah. Uh -huh. Unga. Uh -huh. The first day she cooked for me. Okay. The second day I did it myself. So one plate I used to cost it at 50 shillings. Okay. From the 50 shillings. Yeah, ugali and cabbage. Yeah, ugali and cabbage. Okay. Sorry. From, the, from that, from the first day, I got capital to continue. So the second day, I introduced tea. Tea. Yeah, so it yeah. was tea in the morning mm -hmm. and lunch, ugali and cabbage. Mm. The third day, I introduced porridge. Wow. So it was tea in the morning, <laughs> ugali, cabbage, lunch time, uh -huh. and porridge in the afternoon. Okay. So from this, I created attention to very many people. So even the outsiders began to come Jur during lunch hour. Wanakuja, wanakula ukondani. Just the same, same price at 50 bob. From then, Nikajenga Capital, I bought myself some icing sugar. This is, was, it was back in my head, head that Easy person at a footer, Nisa couldn't say dear, could move on with my pastry work. Right, right, right. So from there, I got capital. Nikanunua uh -huh. some few equipment, mm -hmm. like the piping bag, so costly. So Nikanunua some few equipment, piping bag. I got myself some packets of icing sugar and stock them in my room. Mm -hmm. Do any time I get an order, Nisa mm -hmm. think very comfortably. Okay. Then from then. My mom taught me now how to bake. Wow. We, eh, your mom sounds like quite yeah. a woman. <laughs> My mom taught me how to bake. Yes. We used to bake with a jiko. We don't own an oven, so we used to we bake with a jiko. Yes. And it would very in in a cut of smart. Mm. Just it will still be just so fine. Beautiful. There will be no difference. Yeah. Mm. So my mom would help me bake. Then I would do the icing myself. Okay. Then my father would do the advertisement. Oh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. So he would take it out yes. and tell, come and see what my daughter does. Come, come, come. So from there, I get oh. clients. Mm. I bake, I bake. We get money together. Mm. And we proceed. That's beautiful. Yeah. Like a family that supports each other. Everyone is doing something. Yeah. So mom is teaching you how to start off in life. She's mm -hmm. teaching how to bake. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the one that bought for you the flour for your gari yeah. and that kawanka cabbage. Yeah. And day by day, sasa ukanza kutengeneza chai, ya love sasa uji, uji. And that's from your mom. Yeah. And then you now take the part of doing the work. Mm -hmm. And then now your dad goes and does I, the, the marketing, I, yeah. as you said. Yeah. He comes now and markets for his daughter and says, yeah. this is my daughter's work. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And uh, when it comes to entrepreneurship, I do believe that we need our family support mm -hmm. in order for us to do well. Mm -hmm. um, so now that your family has been supporting you when it comes to this, now one on oh, we're proud of Emma mm -hmm. and we love what Emma does and yeah. we continue to market for Emma. Mm -hmm. Are any of your siblings involved or your cousins or is it something for you and mom and dad? It's 
like for the whole family the whole family yeah my aunties give me orders like mtotongo <laughs> 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 kona birthday just do a cake for me yes. and i'm thinking is i just i sell to them i don't give them this is a business it's business <laughs> it's, it's is business, business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i sell to them so i just do them a cake when i deliver it Of course when it outside does come for birthday so like wow where did this cake come from mm -hmm. i want such a cake mm -hmm. so the order start coming mm -hmm. so even my aunties my cousins they also market for me i'm saying there for you. Mm -hmm. that's beautiful so now to talk a little bit about the decorating here because you know i uh, you did say that your mom may have started off by showing you how to do it but she didn't teach you how to do the icing mm -hmm. the part for the decorating of the cakes mm -hmm. nobody taught you nobody taught that's me that's something that you just kind of started by yourself I experimented and until learned. you perfected it yeah tell us about that kitoko uh, icing is a uh, icing is the best part that Like when you look at the first cake there this one's in yeah. white okay you okay. don't la first you don't see the cake uh -huh. what attracts you is the icing and how it's decorated yeah. so when you are icing mm. it needs to come from your heart it need you need to do it like this is my cake this is not a client's cake mm. it's my cake so you do it to your level best mm. like when you nataka cake yangu it okay that's how i want my client a party a party yeah Dear. so the icing should be very attractive okay very looking very sweet i see then the second cake aha uh -huh. whatever you want it to be written on, on you should make it very let's say like i'm not an artist but you should try to be one like you come up with any design mm -hmm. we don't learn i don't learn the designs just you sit down try out some design till it comes out like that okay so you practice until it until it becomes perfect yeah okay. like it's an art aha uh -huh. yeah it's okay. an art okay. so you need to at least do well in the culinary arts yes. so that you learn how to to do your crazy stuff on top there yeah you can add a couple of yeah. your creativity then you should have a theme a theme yeah oh, tell us more about a theme like hey, a tea cakes have you guys cakes have themes who would yeah. have known <laughs> okay i'm learning a lot today tell us about themes and icing uh -huh. like for a baby yes. you can't just do a dull color like a black color you can't ice a cake and it's a baby's birthday right. you need to do a bright color mm -hmm. at least mm -hmm. um to try to see how this my cake i'm so excited a kiona like, Yeah, yeah. and askia to kukule your cake like my little sister if you ice for her atataka to atataka to kukula like i need a happy birthday cake just because of the color mm. so you have if it's a bright a bright a child's occasion do a bright icing if it does not need so much brightness dull colors also come well okay yeah, if it's maybe like a baby shower uh -huh. you can do just not a flat one like mm, this one mm, maybe mm. you can shape a baby you can ice a baby you can, uh -huh. yeah or that's a cassette of maybe that cassons box for a bed yes. yeah you can uh, do that uh, baby uh, yeah. yeah if it's an athlete you can do maybe a shoe uh -huh. yeah if it's a musician you can do a mic mm -hmm. yeah. yes things like those to match with the theme of the occasion okay yeah and what's the theme for the cake in the middle This is the cake boss. Um Emma the cake boss. You are Emma the cake boss. Yeah. Okay. I love So in many people know me for I don't love bright colors. I love dark colors. Okay. So <laughs> that's my color. <laughs> that's your color. <laughs> that's this is Emma's color. theme. Yeah, this is Emma's theme. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see. Can we finish up maybe with the the ones of the far end who come we show? This is a chocolate cake. Okay. This is a vanilla cake and that is a vanilla cake. This so, two are vanilla. Yeah, this two are vanilla. This is a chocolate cake. Okay. So to add up on the taste of the chocolate cake, I I iced with a chocolate icing uh -huh. so that when you eat you will, your mouth will be filled with wow. Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate overload. Sweet chocolate. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Chocolate cakes are good for ladies. 
for ladies, ladies love for men no for me <laughs> <laughs> ladies love chocolate cake a lot yeah yeah mm. and they knew would fight ladies here so mm. <laughs> just did the chocolate so we are set huh? <laughs> <laughs> are we allowed to taste these things after it's because i'm even salivating you guys these cakes they look wonderful and miss cake boss herself emma is a wonderful character to have on set with us and if you are interested in her business where can they reach you on Instagram, Emma the Cake Boss. Emma the Cake Boss. Facebook, Emma Murevi. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Okay. And if you guys also want to reach out to us, maybe talk about entrepreneurship and maybe get some ideas, please do so on our Facebook and our Twitter page. That is Choose Entrepreneur, hashtag Choose Entrepreneurship and hashtag why in the morning. My name is Joe Mochache. Let's continue to talk Kidogo until we are told we have no more time to talk because me, I'm just hungry. Uh, can we just uh, maybe get a little bit about your challenges when you started this? Because I know that you're not, um, when it comes to this and you practice, even if you practice and you become great at what you do, challenges will always be there. Yeah. And sometimes even competition will always be there. Mm -hmm. Can we discuss about challenges and uh, competition when it came to the Cake Boss? First, I said that we don't pick with an oven. So that's a very great challenge. Even now? Yeah, even oh, now. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't bake using an oven. Wow. I bake using a wow. jiko. Wow. So it's hard to regulate the heat. Mm. So you have to be on your toes. That cake is a ban. And then you need to open so that you see if the cake is cooked. So imagine when you open and the cake is rising, it just fall. That's a mess. So you have to redo wow. the process again, and that's a loss to me. Of course. Yeah. So that's v that's a very big challenge. The second challenge is stiff competition, mm. and there are people who are striving to stand, mm. stand tall. Right. right. So I'm also on the race. I need to stand tall. I need yes. to let people know that I'm Emma the Cake Boss. Mm -hmm. I do this thing, <laughs> and I don't give up. Um, yes. <laughs> so. People are outside there, mm. people have great ideas, mm. so I need to make them know that I also have a great idea, mm. I also can do this. Mm. From me, you can get a quality cake. No matter what no matter you what, baked in. Yeah, yeah, it's a quality cake, so that's a very great challenge too. Mm. And also to market myself. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> right. So, like... Baking, it's sweet when you're baking, you love it when you're baking, but now the challenges kind of pull you back. Dear, dear, dear. But you have to. You have to keep work, pushing. Work. You have to keep pushing. Yes. You have to keep pushing. Mm. Maybe you take to a client and like, I'm not happy with this. So you have to really? redo. Yeah, you have to redo the cake and strive. Yeah, this is what dear. I needed. Or maybe a client brings a picture. I want my cake to be done like this yeah and you don't know how to do it yeah maybe you have to convince that client I can do for you this other way you don't show the client that you don't know how to make it maybe show it just convince him or her I can do for you I can do for you this cake this way then after that you learn the you learn how to make it the way she wanted or he wanted so that any other client comes you, with the same picture, you don't convince him, you just say, yeah, I can do for you. You can do. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, wow, that's interesting. That's wonderful. And, you know, lastly, maybe we can discuss about your plans. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do when it comes to being a pastry chef? Do you maybe want to widen from cakes and um, muffins to other things? Mm -hmm. Or what do you foresee for yourself? and being a pastry chef in the maybe next two years. I want to be the best. No, you have to be the best. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> want so to cute. be the best. Uh, I want to do the big, big weddings. Mm. Yeah. I want to be invited to do the big, big occasions, like maybe 50 years, uh -huh. maybe like the, in Kenya when they, cel when they celebrate, uh -huh. like when you celebrate maybe your anniversary yeah. i want maybe you call me emma before <laughs> i want to be yeah i want to be 
what can I do? I have very big plans. You have very big plans. Yeah, yeah. Big So you plans. want to cook for weddings, you want to cook for events, anniversaries. National events. National, e political events. Political events, everything. everything. You want to make baking cakes for Uhuru himself yeah, at exactly, some point. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That is great. That's a good plan. Mm -hmm. And that's a very, very wonderful mission to look up to. Mm -hmm. I do hope you achieve that. And we do have to wind up our show. I am glad that you have come on set. It has been great knowing you, Miss Morelli. Uh -huh. And, you know, this is Tuesday Entrepreneurship. Once again, I want you to say your social media handles because I know there are people who are interested in your cakes and even might, might even make some orders. On my Instagram page, I'm Emma the Cake Boss. On Facebook, I'm Emma Morelli. And maybe my phone number, 0707 Right. Thank you for having me. Hi, Abbas. Thank you so much for coming. We do have to make way for our next interview. Do stay tuned in. We are not done. We have more entrepreneurs going to come on set. And do stay tuned in. Barry and Hilda will keep you guys very, very, very entertained in the next coming interviews. My name is Joy Muchachi. You can find me on Twitter alone on Joy underscore Muchachi. Thank you so much. Have a blessed, wonderful time.